Hey, what's up, people? How you doing, man? This is Renal Kalix. I am back with another video. I know I did a video recently yesterday, a minute and 30 second video. So, I hope you enjoy this video. I am so excited about this. So, let's get started. First match I want to talk about on the card is the tag team triple threat match that was just thrown into the card. <coughs> we don't know which tag team it is, but this is going to be exciting. It's going to be the Usos, Tyson Kidd and Justin Gabriel versus Epico and Primo. I have to say, this is a kind of thrown in match because R Truth, Kofi, Dolph Ziggler, and Swagger are busy with their um, Team Teddy, Team Laurinaitis um, shenanigan. Um, this is going to seem like a very good match. I can, hopefully, I can check that out. But I'm going to go Primo, Primo are going to pick up the win. I mean, Tyson Kidd and Justin Gabriel are going to be jobbers. And the Usos are going to have a shot, but Epico and Primo are going to pick up the win, so no question to that. Maria Muenos, Kelly Kelly, Muenos, Menunos, sorry, and Kelly Kelly, two gorgeous women, versus Beth Phoenix and Eve, who are one of the most beautiful women in the world, are going to be definitely going at it in a match. And apparently, I have to say... Marie Moenos and Kelly Kelly are going to win, no question. Unless if Beth Phoenix and Eve do some, somehow pick up the win, then I wouldn't be surprised either. So, Kelly Kelly and Marie Moenos picking up the win. Randy Orton versus Kane. Okay, Randy Orton versus Kane, I have to say, that's going to be a good match. But I have to say, Randy Orton's going to pick up the win. It is, it, today is his birthday, so he's got to pick up a win for his birthday. And if Kane does win, then. It's going to pick up a lot of momentum for his match coming up. I mean, for his future feud or whoever he feuds against. Because if Kane wins, he could build up the feud. But if Randy wins, he'll put an end to the feud. But it's on Randy's birthday, so I wouldn't be surprised if he picks up, picks up the win. Team Johnny versus Team Teddy. Alright. Zack Ryder is on Team Teddy. I'm so excited about that. And The Miz is on Team Teddy. So, I have to say... I'm going for Zack Ryder to pick up a, a, a last-minute win against The Miz in a one-on-one -on -one match. Team Johnny, I think, is going to win. And if he does win, he could make a heel turn because they do need a heel GM so they could bring a lot of heat to the show. And if they did have a face GM, then it will be just... I don't know how it will go, but if Johnny does win, I wouldn't be surprised. But what's more he got? He's already executive vice president of talent relations. And if Teddy Long loses, he's going to have nothing. I don't want him to go back to just being a manager for a superstar. I want him to be a GM. He's a very good GM, and he's been around for almost eight years now. Well, for ten years. And last time he was a heel was when he did the thugging and bugging gimmick with Rodney Mack and Mark Henry and Jazz. I remember that stable, so. Enough said. Next match on the card, we have Cody Rhodes versus The Big Show. That's going to be a great match. I am so excited about that. And that's going to be a big event, so I have to say I am going for um, Big Show to win and end his WrestleMania curse, and Cody Rose may show an embarrassing moment from the Kids' Choice Awards, so I wouldn't be surprised at that. Daniel Bryan and Sheamus, this is going to be a tough decision because Daniel Bryan could pull off the win to continue his momentum as a heel champion. But I have to say, the person who I'm going for in this match is... Sorry. Definitely Sheamus. Sheamus may pull an upset win, and then Daniel Bryan may seek his rematch to win. So this could match to go either way, but I'm going for Sheamus. WWE Champion CM Punk and Chris Jericho. I have to say, no question that... CM Punk is going to pull off the win. I wouldn't be surprised at that. After all the insults that Chris Jericho will win, still going to pick up the momentum for Punk to win. But if Chris Jericho does win, it could build off his momentum as the heel person that he is. So I really want to see that happen. It's going very well, and I'm excited to see that. Very good. And it's going very good. I'm enjoying Chris Jericho. He's starting to become one of my favorites again. He's so funny, too. Especially because Joker is a strong heel. So. 
Hopefully he continues the Y2J gimmick. Undertaker and Triple H with Shawn Michaels as special referee. Sorry if I've been talking with my mouth full. But I have to say I'm going for Undertaker again. He needs to go 20-0 because if he goes 19-1, what else does he have? So I wouldn't be surprised if Triple H pulls off the win. But if Undertaker does win, I think I see a future feud with Shawn Michaels and Triple H. So, I can't wait to see how that goes, no question. But it's going to have a lot of potential. This is going to be one of the top five matches that I'm looking forward to. Team Teddy and Team Johnny is the fifth. So, I'm looking forward to this match. I can't wait to see how that turns out. That's going to be an exciting match. So, um, I think Undertaker is going to pull off the win, no question. So, that's going to be a lot of potential. John Cena and The Rock. All right, this is going to be the most anticipating match. And I have to say, I think The Rock's going to win in his hometown to pick up the momentum in his hometown to prove that he's not rusty. And Because he's a movie star. So if John Cena does win, then he could pick up a lot of momentum as him as a top dog in the WWE. So I wouldn't be su surprised if John Cena pulls off the win. But The Rock does need a win to represent his hometown and the big comeback that he ever nailed. So I'll be looking forward to that. So yeah, that's my match. I mean, so yeah, that's who I'm going for. So yeah, those are my WrestleMania predictions. It was a quick, but I have to run, have to head off to church, so I have to meet up with someone. So that's those are my videos. So hopefully you enjoyed it. And I'll catch you guys later for WrestleMania. Hopefully you enjoy yourself and peace out.